Hi everyone, hope you're all doing okay in these strange times. Um, I just had a couple of suggestions about string crossings. Um, it's probably all really obvious, but I just thought it might be a little reminder for some of you. So um, just thinking about how to get them um, controlled and keep the sound free on, on your string crossings and then um, also to have a bit more control over the attack when you're, when you're jumping strings. So two different things. So the basic movement is your arm just kind of hangs from your shoulder and then just pushes away or towards you. So it's just that simple movement. So your shoulder doesn't really need to get involved. It's just quite stable. So I usually start in the middle two strings and then work outwards. So set the metronome to quad G equals 60 or something like that. Start off with a nice open string. We're just listening for that free sound. And then the idea is that when you're adding another string, you keep the sound as free as that. And I like to use dotted rhythms because it just makes you have to be a bit more rhythmic in your arm. So something like this. Or the other way. And you can always combine almost every exercise with a bit of slow bow. So you just kind of add one more beat each time. Or maybe the next two strings. Try three strings, you know, any combination that you like, obviously. And um, the aim is that your arm is just smoothly moving, so it's not kind of jerky movement, it's kind of anticipates where it needs to go, so that it's uh, really smooth the way it um, moves from one string to the next. And if you can do all that, then you'll have really lovely, smooth string crossings. And um, the other exercise, which is quite good if you been playing a different size viol or a different instrument and you're just coming back is just um, really thinking about your kind of geography of where this upper arm is when you're in your different string positions so you set the bow down in the middle of the bow and you just kind of swing your arm so that bow is crossing the strings but it's not traveling and then you look away and you think oh yeah decide which string you want to settle on settle relax your arm, really feel your fingers on the string, and then see if you can start the string with a really clear attack. And that's great for pieces that jump across the strings a lot to give you a bit more control over your articulation. Hope that's useful. Hope everyone's doing well. See you soon.